in this tutorial I'll be showing you about citizens financial group uh, just type in citizens stock in Google and mm, click enter you can see this stock uh, name just see this name exactly from Google you can see the symbol CFG if you buy the stock right now uh, one stock will cost you 35.51 US dollars and um, now it's a billion market cap which means it's a big size firm and it's paying 4.06 percent dividend yield any company that is paying dividend yield that means that they are financially very strong because um, after paying their costs liabilities loans they still have extra money that extra money they pay to shareholders as dividends so this is very positive news this, this means that stock is financially strong and uh, let's go to Wikipedia and see when was this founded you can just search this box and um, it's 1828 uh, it was founded in and let me see what employees have to say about it i'll just copy this exactly from google i'll paste it here and uh, type in indeed reviews and uh, you just see it's two reviews which is not plenty to judge a firm and it's 2.5 star and you can just read through the reviews yourself and um, now i want to see in glassdoor if it has any reviews um we have nearly 2.1 nearly 2100 reviews and it's 3.3 star and you can just read through the pros and cons and what people have to say about it who work there read through the jobs they have listed the salaries they're giving the interviews the benefits they're giving the photos of the firm and everything now let's go to just your patents and i want to see if this firm has any patents or not um i'll just click here enter and uh, I just want to point out please don't look at inventors because these are people who invented but they don't have full rights look at an applicant or a signee because they have full rights of the patent so I can see in 2011 they have patent 2009 they have patent 2010 they have patent and 2011 2009 and they have a lot of patents that's a brilliant news because they, that means they are very strong they have a good moat they are competitive in market and it's difficult to beat them because they have a lot of patents and but please have a look if they have recent patents in 2015 16 17 18 because that means they're still innovating and uh, that you know you should look for that as well let's look let's go to yahoo finance and see the key executives as well and uh, i'll just paste it in here and i just want to show you don't be confused by which one to click because of the symbols what i do is i just go to google i just click on the nasdaq symbol it's cfg so i'll just click cfg and click enter go to profile and you can see the sector industry full time employees and you can see they have five key executives and only three of their salaries have been shown two of them has not applicable so you need to search why it's not applicable because we need as much information transparency as we can so you need to search why that's not applicable and um, because the more information we have about the firm the better trust we are able to build let's go to macro trend and look at some ratios uh, click price ratio price book ratio and um, type in the symbol and click there and if the ratio is uh, is less than one that means stock is very cheap it's a discount and it's a bargain you must buy it if it's more than one that means stock is expensive the higher the number goes the more expensive it gets okay so let's have a look right now it's 0.76 which means the stock it, stock is at bargain it's like nearly 15 percent or 20 percent 25 percent discount so somebody who buys right now they're getting stock cheap if somebody uh, somebody who bought in March 2019 they got 30% off because they paid $32 to buy something that was $46 worth they got 30% off and if somebody bought in um, so it's mainly it's for like we have data since 2014 it's majority of the time it's a discount stock it's not expensive at all because it has always been less than one so that's brilliant and let's go to other ratios and I want to see I want to look at current ratio the current ratio if it's less than one that means stock is risky it's dangerous if it's 1.5 or more than that that means stock is safe so it's just loading uh, be patient with this website because sometimes it takes time to load uh, but don't worry because it will make your life easy be patient with it please let me know if I'm going through the tutorial very fast if you want me to slow down or if you didn't understand anything and you want me to repeat that or explain in detail or if you want to connect with me please do connect with me um, subscribe to my youtube channel and connect with me um, on discussion channel discussion side of youtube 
and uh, please let me know if you have any suggestions for me ideas for me um, and you can just let me know and I'll just consider that as well so it's just loading I can see that I'm looking for 1.5 more than it. it's less than one that means stock is risky because liabilities are more than assets it's less than one so it's a risky stock and previously it's a risky stock it's a risky stock because we're looking for 1.5 or more than that for it to be safe but I can see since we have data since 2012 up till now it's a risky stock and for most of the times if you see liabilities are more than assets so that is a risky stock Let's go to debt equity ratio. This ratio will tell me if the company is mainly operating on debt or equity. I'm looking for 0.5 or less than that for it to be brilliant and safe. Let's have a look. Okay, I'm looking for 0.5 or less than that. Right now, it's more than 0.5. That means it's a, it's a, it's a risky stock. And um, let's look at the previous trend. It's always been more than 0.5. I can't see. But I think since uh, 2012 up till 2015, it's less than 0.5. So it's a safe stock. But since 2015, December up till now, it's always been above 0.5. So it's a risky stock in terms of debt. Let's have a look at return on equity. I'm looking for 8% uh, or more than that for it to be ideal. So let's have a look. I'm looking for 8% or more than that. It is more than 8%. Let's look at the previous trends as well. So I can see that um, since 2014 up till 2017 September, it's less than 8%, but still it's a positive equity. But I'm looking for 8% for it to be ideal. Since 2017 December up till now, since recent three years, it's always been consistently been above 8%. That's brilliant.